Hey, let's not forget to mention that we're going to be alternating segments uh, each week this semester. Yeah, I'd say that'd be pretty tight, uh, but would you also want to like do segments together some weeks? Yeah, definitely. Hi, I'm Olivia. And I'm Gabriel. Welcome, Welcome to, to Hamped, Hamped Up. Up. Y'all ready for this? You've probably already noticed that there are no hockey teams here at the high school, which opens up the opportunity for girls and boys hockey players to play for either East Hampton or Longmeadow High School. Multiple girls and boys from NHS drive long distances just to practice and play games, not getting the luxury of playing at their own school like other winter athletes. To gain a better perspective of the life of a Longmeadow High School hockey player, I sat down with Bridget Golerslau to learn about her senior season and college recruitment process. Well, I think it's actually pretty nice that we're from different schools because when we get to the rank, it's, nobody goes to the same school, so it's, you don't have to talk about school, you're just focused on hockey, and that's it when you're there. Definitely, you have to learn a lot about the people that you're playing with, and it's a lot of people that I'm meeting for the first time and I haven't played with before, so. I have to learn quickly how other people play and how I can play the best with them. Well, we have four different people from in leadership roles from four different schools, so I think each of us have a slightly different leadership style and each of us can bring something a little bit different to the table in terms of how we lead the team. So my recruiting process was definitely a little harder coming from a public school because when college coaches are doing their recruiting, a lot of times they only look at private school. And so it was certainly harder for me, and I had to basically go just through my club coach, who actually had some good connections, and was able to connect me with the coach of the Wesleyan team, who then gave me a spot in July, and I committed a few weeks later. As soon as I met the coach, I really loved her. I loved her coaching style. I loved what she had to say about her players and the team atmosphere. Um, and Wesleyan as a school, I think they have a really good opportunities for doing research on campus and some really good STEM programs, which is what I'm interested in. I also sat down with Gabe Broder, the goon of the East Hampton boys ice hockey team, to talk about his goals for his last year playing hockey. As a senior, I got to make sure that like all the younger kids, like especially the freshmen, are doing what they're supposed to be doing and uh, not misbehaving themselves. And just got to make sure that like everyone's on the same page and we're all working towards the same thing. I guess maybe we'd all be a little bit closer if uh, we all went to the same school, but we all kind of try to hang out as much as we can outside of school. And there's no like in-school beef going on with everyone on the team, so I guess that might help too. Yeah, well, I was out for a little while for uh, five games. And uh, when I wasn't able to play, I was helping my coach prepare for games, helping my team in the locker room, and uh, telling them what I see, and trying to get them pumped up, and like headbutting everyone, and yelling a lot. But you can't really like drop the gloves, and like, because we're all wearing helmets that have cages, so you'll probably break your hands if you try to fight someone like that. So like really, if we want to do that, we'll probably just take it out in the parking lot after the game. But like on ice, there's still you know, big hits and maybe some punches thrown, but gloves are on and everything. So, you know, everyone's going to be safe while we're on the ice. If I could play with any three hockey players, it would probably have to be uh, Patrice Bergeron, Jacob Batchelder, and myself. Probably the most valuable lesson is, like, if you play hockey, you're probably going to be pretty sick. The East Hampton boys hockey team next game is Wednesday, February 13th at home against Drury at 7 p.m. And the Longmeadow girls play tonight away against Suffield at 9.20. The boys basketball team is also away tonight at Central at 7 p.m. And boys and girls track has a Western Mass Finals tonight at 6 at Smith College. Thanks for watching Hamped Up. I'm Lulu Kesson.